Hello, hello, and welcome to another Bible study with the Feed My Sheep Foundation video channel. On today's uh, video today, we're going to take a look into another Captain's Voice revelation where we are going to um, look at the ordainment of a prophet, okay? And the title of this video is God Ordained Prophet. And uh, the prophet that we're going to take a look at today is Jeremiah. And our first reading in reference to God ordained prophet. And looking at the order of the kingdom of God and how God specifically chooses those that he has decreed and declared from his mind, his heart, his will, his, you know, from within himself, who he has uh, designed specifically to do a specific thing and for the kingdom of God in the earth and that first prophet again that we're going to take a look at is Jeremiah he was uh, one he was one that was specifically chosen selected by God to be a prophet and to go forward in the land and then we're going to take a look at the things that the prophet does okay the duties of a prophet now today in the earth, we know that uh, once an individual has been birthed into the kingdom, they have been birthed into the power and the presence of the Holy Spirit. And within the Holy Spirit are all of the offices, okay? So if the Heavenly Father decrees and declares that a certain individual is to take on the office of the prophet in the earth or either on assignment or however God specifically decides to use that individual because they have been birthed okay into the kingdom into the holy the holy spirit has birthed them okay and uh therefore they're a part of heaven so god can use them however he chooses to use them he's already predestined how they'll be used just as we're going to take a look today into how jeremiah was predestined uh, to be a prophet to the nations god decreed and declared in reference to his journey in the earth okay and he's referred to as the weeping prophet because of the messages that he often had to go forward to the uh, children of israel with and the children of judah also houses i should say the house of israel and the house of judah because they're all up under the they're all the children of uh, israel but they were separated because of the consequences of solomon at one point in time but uh, nevertheless, they were still under the umbrella as being the children of Israel, just divided houses, the house of Judah, then the house of Israel. So as we look at this, uh, let me give you Jeremiah's defining uh, name. It's defined as being Yahweh throws, appoints, or sins, because he was a prophet sent unto the nations, all nations of the earth, okay? He was sent to all the nations of the earth. I want to take a look at that in the reading today and start with uh, chapter 1 of Jeremiah. This is the first uh, reading that we have in reference to this revelation. As we go forward, learning and taking a look and receiving a revelation from heaven regarding ordained prophets. God, those prophets that God has ordained from the belly. Not a man ordained prophet. Not a individual who comes before an individual and um, that man ordains them and it was not even ordered by the kingdom of heaven okay because unfortunately that's taking place in the earth today and God is saying he wants that to stop because it's deceiving people into thinking that they are part of God's kingdom when they have unfortunately not been placed into his kingdom and therefore when they go forward they begin to also deceive others and then that's a problem that's a problem in the earth and it's creating a problem for those in the kingdom because you can be misled by some of their teachings you can be misled by the things that you may see them do okay and um, so nevertheless we're going to look at the God ordained prophet and how that specific order because that's what ordained um, ordainment is all about the order of heaven the order the will of the heavenly father those things that he has placed 
into a specific arrangement to take place in the earth. And without a doubt, he does it automatically. And because, again, like I stated, we're looking at an Old Testament book, Jeremiah, an Old Testament uh, prophet, and we're reflecting upon his experience with the Heavenly Father in the earth at that particular point in time. But we're also going to apply that into our own revelation for today's kingdom as we are saints in the kingdom of God and the fact that God may use any individual to take on that specific office and walk just as Jeremiah did in the earth, okay? So, um, and again, that word is ordained and that word ordained, the root word of ordained being order, okay, we talked about that, which is the arrangement, the sequence or structure or organization of a thing, okay? Uh, whenever it's placed into a position, it's for order. Uh, let's see here. So let's go ahead and start with chapter one. It says, The words of Jeremiah, who was the son of Elkiah, of the priests that were in Anathoth, in the land of Benjamin. Okay? In the land of Benjamin. So therefore, he came from the Benjamin tribe. So therefore, if we look over at what Jacob said in reference to his son, Benjamin, and we see that in Genesis, let's go here to the book of Genesis to see the prophecy because uh, Jacob did prophesy over all of his, all the children of Israel, all of his sons, he prophesied over them. And so Benjamin, this is what he said in reference to Benjamin. In Genesis 49, chapter 27, Benjamin shall raven as a wolf. In the morning he shall devour the prey, and at night he shall divide the spoil. But it says all these are 12, oh, that goes into just telling you that these are the 12 tribes of Israel, but that was the prophecy, verse 27, that Jacob gave over his son Benjamin. And this Jeremiah has been birthed, okay, through the generation and the genealogy of Benjamin. So going on in verse 2, it says, To whom the word of the Lord came in the days of Josiah, the son of Ammon, king of Judah, in the thirteenth year of his reign. It came also in the days of Jehoiakim, the son of Josiah, king of Judah, unto the end of the eleventh year of Zedekiah, the son of Josiah, king of Judah. Now, this is when all of this happened, he's saying, unto the carrying away of Jerusalem, captive in the fifth month. The word of the Lord came to me, saying, this is what Jeremiah said, the word of the Lord came to him and said, this is what God said to Jeremiah, before I formed you in the belly, I knew you, and before thou came forth out of the womb, I sanctified you, and I ordained you a prophet unto the nations, okay? So this is what God said specifically to Jeremiah. There was no other individual around to tell him that, you know, um, you're a prophet and all of these other different things, but it was a specific encounter that Jeremiah had with the power of the presence of the Heavenly Father speaking directly to him. Okay, and as I have stated on this channel many days, that there are many people walking the earth today who fit into the same category as Jeremiah did, where God had ordained them to be a prophet, and some of them are not aware of it, okay? And that is my prayer petition right now as I even speak of this conversation. Dear Heavenly Father, in the mighty name of Christ Jesus, that you would guide people in their direction to inform them of who they are in you, in your kingdom, that they are mighty individuals needed, needed very, very desperately to arise up in the earth today in the mighty name of Christ Jesus. Yes, for the kingdom. Okay, so going on, verse 6, he says, Then said I, O Lord God, behold, I cannot speak, for I am a child. So that's what Jeremiah said to God whenever God told him he was an ordained prophet. The Lord said unto me, Say not, I am a child, for thou shalt go to all that I will send you to. And whatsoever I command you, thou shalt speak. Okay, be not afraid of their faces, for I am with you to deliver you, says the Lord. 
And then the Lord put forth his hand and touched my mouth. And the Lord said unto me, Behold, I have put my words in your mouth. Hallelujah. <laughs> oh, sweet Jesus. Now, he says this to Jeremiah. And so Jeremiah, then he says, See, I have this day set you. This is what he also says to Jeremiah, the ordained prophet. I have set you over the nations and over the kingdoms. And for what reason he set them, set uh, Jeremiah into that position? To root out to pull down. Now, you know, if he's going to root out, he's going to root out evil. He's going to pull down evil to destroy. He's going to destroy the evil and to throw down the evil things, okay? And to build up God's goodness, okay? Because that's the only thing we want to build up in the earth is God and edify God, the information and knowledge and doctrine of him and his spirit and to plant God. Okay, but nevertheless, we see the duties that Jeremiah has been given because he is an ordained prophet in the earth unto the nations. That is, verse 10 gives us full description of what the prophet does. And even if we take a look at the life of Christ Jesus, no, he was not specifically a prophet, but he walked in the power of the Holy Ghost. And within the power of the Holy, Holy Ghost, he operated in the earth, in all five offices, he, off, he operated in the office of the prophet, the office of the evangelist, the office of the teacher, the office of the pastor, and the office of the apostle. And we're going to take a look at that and do a video uh, one day. <laughs> but nevertheless, okay, going on here, verse 11, it says, Moreover, the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Jeremiah, what do you see? And I said, I see a branch, a rod of an almond tree. And then the Lord said unto me, Thou hast seen very well, for I will hasten my word to perform it. And the word of the Lord came unto me the second time, saying, What do you see? And I said, I see a seething pot. Or he saw a boiling pot. Now these are conversations God is having back and forth with Jeremiah. And I said, I see a seething pot, he says, and the face thereof is toward the north. Then the Lord said unto me, Out of the north an evil shall break forth upon all the inhabitants of the land. For lo, I will call all the families of the kingdoms of the earth, says the Lord, and they shall come. And they shall set every one his throne at the entering of the gates of Jerusalem, and against all the walls thereof round about them, and against all the cities of Judah. And I will utter my judgments against them, touching all their wickedness, who have forsaken me and have burned incense unto other gods and worship the works of their own hands. So here he begins to go into conversation with Jeremiah explaining to him, okay, the reason for his position, basically, because of the rebellion of God's people, okay, because of the wickedness. It says here in verse 16, I'll utter my judgments against them, touching all their wickedness. They have burned incense unto other gods, and they worship the works of their own hands. He says, Though thou therefore gird up thy loins, and arise, and speak unto them, all that command, all that I command you, be not dismayed at their faces, unless I confound you before them. So he's telling Jeremiah, this is the first thing he's explaining to him in reference to his position, the position of verse number 10. See, I have this day set thee over the nations, over the kingdoms, to root out, to pull down, to destroy, to throw down, to build, and to plant. Okay? That is his position. That's what Jeremiah has been chosen to do. And then God goes into the reason behind the position that he has been chosen, uh, predestined, ordained to do because of the rebellion of his people. And in doing that, it's just helping the relationship and strengthening the relationship between God and his inheritance, just as with the saints today, drawing them closer to him so that they may have a good knowledge of who he is in case of course things that happen in the land that they may need to be aware of they're out of the will of God. They may not be able to be aware of what's going on and what's getting ready to happen. 
So God begins to, uh, out of his love and his uh, cherishment for his people, for his inheritance, for those that he has chosen, he begins to send messengers to the people so that they can come back into alignment with him because we never know what is getting ready to happen in the future, but God does. And notice how throughout the word of God, there are many times that the children of Israel were, they were into a lot of rebellion and evil. And they went a long time before God actually sent someone to them. And that's something to really think about because he, he let them go a long time before he actually sent someone to warn them of what they were doing and that it was wrong. And it may have been because of what may have been getting ready to take place in the earth. When he, you know, and, but he sent a forewarning so that they would return, repent and return unto them, unto him and be saved from whatever that may, that calamity may have been that's, that was getting ready to come forward in the earth. Okay, had they been out of will, had they been out of alignment with him, they would have missed his instructions. So, but if they repent, come back into alignment with him, they'll be able to receive his instructions. Okay, just like as with a parent, whenever a parent chastises us or chastised us when we were young, it was all for the alignment and uh, in order to keep us from going through something in the future, okay, that would have presented a more horrible complication in our lives had we not stopped what we were doing and turned away from it. So, uh, but nevertheless, getting back on to Jeremiah and the ordained prophet. Verse 17 says, Though thou therefore gird up thy loins and arise and speak unto them. And he says, Be not dismayed at their faces, lest I'll confine thee before them. He says to speak everything that I tell you to speak unto them. For behold, I have made you this day a defense city. Now this is the also taking a look at the ordained prophet. They are a defense. I've made you a this day a defense city, an iron pillar, a brazen wall against the whole land, against the kings of Judah, against the princes thereof, against the priests thereof, and against the people of the land. That's every individual walking the face of the earth. That's the office of this prophet. And again, as I stated, there are some in the earth today who walk in this specific office. And they shall fight against you, he says, but they shall not prevail, hallelujah, against you. For I am with you, says the Lord, to deliver you. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Mighty God of heaven. Who reigns and rules mightily by your mighty power? He said, not by might, not by power, but by your powerful, mighty, precious Holy Spirit who reign and rule the earth. Hallelujah. Thank you, God Almighty, for your revelation into your word, into your ordainment of the prophets that you have created, predestined, and placed into the earth to represent your kingdom. In the mighty name of Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh, God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. All right. So that is going to bring me to the end of this revelation entitled God Ordained Prophets. As we took a look at the life of an ordained prophet, Jeremiah, who was ordained in his mother's womb before the foundation, or not in his mother's womb, but before the foundation of the earth. And I think that is, oh, let's see, I think we have a couple more verses out of this whole book of Jeremiah I want to take into uh, examination. Jeremiah chapter 5. Let's take a look at this. Also, Jeremiah chapter 5, just looking at the ordained prophet lifestyle. Or, uh, chapter 5, verse 14, it says, Wherefore, thus says the Lord God of hosts, because you speak this word, behold, I have made my words in thy mouth fire, and this people would, and it shall not, it, 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 it shall, he says, devour them. Okay? Then another scripture is Jeremiah 23. 
Jeremiah 23 and verse 29. Verse 29 begins with, Is not my word like as fire, says the Lord, and like a hammer not that breaks the rock in pieces? Therefore, behold, I am against the prophets, says the Lord, that steal my words, every one from his neighbor. Okay? Do we understand the importance from looking at the ordainment of Jeremiah's position? How important it is to seek the Heavenly Father for what he wants to say and do through an individual once they have been birthed into the kingdom. All right, I just wanted to add that on to this video while we were taking a look at a revelation in, in reference to ordained prophets. God bless you. God be with you. And I will see you on our next Bible study, revelation, Bible study, video, message, whatever the holy heavens has decreed and declared must go forward through this video channel. In Jesus Christ's mighty name, God bless you.